Hello everyone, welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how to uh, manipulate some of the sounds in the stock loops that come up in Soundtrap. So um, we're going to look at this Anthem uh, Astrology Pad 1 loop first that comes um, with Soundtrap. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you hear it so you know what the initial loop sounds like. So that uh, came straight out of the loop category that was over here. Um, just pull that, drag it in, and then use the upper right-hand corner to stretch it out to be a long loop. Now, um, there's several different things that you might want to do to this. For instance, if you click here in the track header on the little synthesizer icon, this shows the instrument. This panel is called the instrument panel in uh, Soundtrap. Um, you find lots of stuff on here, um, but this is probably the fastest way to change the sound of this actual loop. So we could change it from the astrology synth to the Caribbean signs. Or any number of different synths are available. But you don't have to stick within the synth category. You could change it to, let's say, um, trumpets. Or you could change it to some kind of uh, piano. And I think that's where we're going to stay for right now. So that has a definite uh, different feel to what the starting sound had. Um, but there are a lot more things that you can do to change this loop up without actually having to write any notes at all. If you click over into your piano roll, you'll see the actual notes of the loop listed here. You notice there's some in dark gray and there are some in light gray. Because this is a uh, loop region, and we use the upper right hand corner and they're all attached to each other. The one on the left here is the original loop. That's the source material. Anything I edit in this loop, you'll notice also changes in the continual loops. And I can't actually edit anything in these. So this is the only one that's editable. So um, I'm gonna work in this loop to change a few things. So one thing you might want to change, for instance, is the length of the notes. You can highlight them all by click and dragging a box around them. Or if you're a hotkey person, while you're in this selected window, you can hit Command A. So right now I'm hitting Command A, and that's on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's Control A, and that selects all. So again, you can drag a box or use command A, um, and that selects them all. Then the right edge of the tool, as you shrink, will allow you to change the value or the length of the note. So now this yields a different sound. And I can readjust. So that's definitely a different feeling by changing the length of the notes. And you don't have to change them all. You could change just some of them if you wanted to. That's the way you would draw a box around just a few of them. And you can get a different feeling. 
So um, past changing the length of the note, which you'll be able to do using this pointer tool that will allow you to select and modify links. If you use this tool, you will be able to change the velocity of the notes. So if I select them all again, and I click on one, I'll see that currently it's at velocity 85. If I want a bit gentler touch, I can click and drag my mouse down. Now we're at velocity 48. So that's a nice soothing piano uh, vibe for sure. So, um, if I wanted to get a more intense piano feeling, I could drag up, and now I'm more in the 109 category, and we'll listen to that. More intense piano. Well, this has been another great tutorial uh, with Roaring Records. Uh, you can change note value, you can change velocity, note length, and you can alter the instrument on your track. Thanks for watching.